Hi, it's been a while. In our last episode, we took a look at creating arrays on the front panel and on the block diagram. In the two-step process, first we put down an empty array shell, and then we populated it. But you see I've already created two arrays for us, because now we're going to see how to manipulate these arrays on the block diagram. We'll take a look at some of the most common functions used when we manipulate arrays. So we'll head over here to the block diagram, go to the array palette, and we see the most common functions here. So let's start over here with array size. Put it down. The context help, control H, is always invaluable for knowing exactly what these do. Returns the number of elements in each dimension of the array. Well, that's cool. So I'll wire this in here, create an indicator off of the output. I see it show up here. I run my VI, and indeed I have five elements in my array. Now what if I want to know the value of all the elements added together instead of just the number of elements in my array? Well, for that, I would go to the add array elements function. Put that down, wire this into here, create an indicator as before, and run it. And here's the sum of all these elements. That's pretty cool. What if I use this on a 2D array right here? Hold down control, click and drag this up. I'll get rid of this for now. And wire the 2D array into the function input. Create an indicator. Oh, look what happened. I get an array as the output. I'll expose two elements and run it, and I get two elements out. There are no more elements, just those. And as you can see, these elements correspond to the size of this array. Four rows, five columns. Before we move on, let's take a look at these wires. First off, a scalar wire is pretty skinny. A 1D array wire is thicker, and a 2D array wire is thicker still. Look what I did. I made this a 3D wire and got a bit bigger. And you can guess if I run it and expose another element, yep, I have the size of each dimension. This other dimension is as yet unpopulated. You can think of it like multiple Excel spreadsheets. I'm looking at one, and here's the other. But for now, I'll hit Control-Z and go back, and take this back to two dimensions, because we'd like to look at more functions. 